their brain like, man, Lord Twilight could do anything with brute power using his minions. Um, do you know how to read this kanji? Hi, here is um count. Is it to count or to kill? Sadly not to count. It is to kill though. Mi uchi is a way to say relatives or one's family. Mi uchi. Can you read the sentence for me? Igure no kimi wa mi uchi o prosta. The Lord of Twilight murdered his family. Perfect. Can you read this one relatives. for me? Hi, hi, hi. Um, omoe tori. Hi. Omoe to, um... tori is what you might think, but it should be omoe uh, dori with a relative, with um the rendaku, the voicing. So, omoe dori. dori. So, omoe is your to, thoughts. Uh... And tori comes from path, and it means to do as one likes, as one would imagine, basically. So, what you want to do, basically. So, just like I wanted to do. Omoi dori. Do as one. Okay. Do you as know, one there's likes. this one kanji meaning, meaning selfish money. Have you ever heard, you ever came across that kanji? Do you mean kateni or demon? Like I think cut that like to to take that like to win to win the hand or something like that. Nice. The, yeah, that... is that the same meaning cut the knee? Um, I wouldn't necessarily. Um, cut the knee is going to be more common. You're going to see the word cut the knee a lot in Japanese because it means you did an action without thinking about other people. Is what it means. It means you just did it. You didn't think about the consequences or what anybody else wanted. Omoi dori, that whole connotation isn't even in there. It just means you did exactly what you wanted to do. Which katani, you don't necessarily are doing something you want to do with katani. You might, it just means that I didn't care about other people and just did this thing anyway. So I guess they're like kind of similar. Um, I'd say omoidori is less common. So you'll hear katani a lot in Japanese because you'll hear this as someone like saying, oof, I was so selfish. Or they'll be like, you are so selfish. Is when katani is here. Omoidori is more like factual, like a commentary, like they did just what they wanted to do. Um, you wouldn't really hmm. use katani what about the third person. Unless you're complaining. This is complaining. What about the first person? What about that first kanji you wrote there, Moni? Shiman? Diman? That is literally the word selfish. Wait, that's the... Diman's not selfish. Diman is self-pride. <laughs> what is selfish? Self there is a word that it means selfish. E ego. That I can't remember what it is. Selfish. Ego, yes. You do everything for this stuff. Okay, I see That's, here. Kate, kate, do not consider inconsiderate. Not exactly. Considerate other into exactly. That's kateni. Um. So yeah, omoi dori is literally I. They did what they wanted to do because they wanted to do it. Um. So as one wishes, as one likes to do, just like they thought they wanted to do. Um. Can you read the sentence? Hi. Jima. Uh. Jibun no omoi. あ、思い通りイグレの君はあ、イグレ君はあ、泥棒を殺した。So the divun here is Higure no Kimi. Hi. The Lord of Twilight does as he wants. Uh, he kills the thief. Right. Just as he wants, the Lord of Can Twilight I... kills the thief. 
Can I make a quick comment here? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, just looking at the kanji, it say higure, meaning sun, and then and then dawn. Mm -mm. So it's, kure it's does not funny mean here dawn. because the Lord of kure, kure is to set. Like dark. As in the sun set, sets. right? Hi. Oh, the sunset, not the sunrise. Hi, the hi. sun setting. Hi. Okay, that does make sense. It is the dust. It is the twilight of the dust, not so, the so. dawn dust. It is the sun not of the setting. Not the dawn twilight, but the dust. setting. Hi. Hi. Um, it was so interesting. This morning I was um, reading mm -hmm. or I was studying about the difference between how um, Eastern society versus western society mm. came to develop and they evolved different modes of um governing their 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 group interactions oh. and uh eastern society relies on the conformity of the group mm -hmm. so you don't want to do anything against the group right. or the opinion of the group and right. therefore everything you do you should take into consideration what the group would want right um as opposed to um Chris, like like a uh, like a western like west west society where what you do is is with respect to your conscience mm. right and if you're religious then it's with respect to what god wants you to do not what society can want you to do you know that's like, such a sweet idea wants. to have sadly that's definitely not true right it, i i don't so know a lot about, about christianity this. but i can say that's definitely not true based off of the small amount i know by watching rugrats as a child i can let you know that's sadly <laughs> incorrect i so this idea of like like the inner the inner um like one is outwardly motivated by the group and one is inertly motivated by their own personal opinions of things. Kind of, yeah. That's so that's a why that, that, that two... Bo both groups are actually quite that, that much two... care about um, what the group of people think, but they go about it in very different ways. Um, um, I would say, in it, like for example, let's talk about compliments. In Japanese, if you compliment someone, you're supposed to say, no, no, no. Because if you say yes, it sounds like you, yes, I am so smart. In English, like at least in America, it's kind of the opposite. If someone compliments you, you're supposed to say thank you. Because if you say no, you're saying their opinion is wrong, right? You, if, that sounds, that's very confrontational in English. It's like, oh, you're wearing a pretty dress and say, no, it's hideous. That will be very like, oh, how could you say that to me? I liked your dress. I said it was good. It literally will get on our nerves if you compliment someone in America and they say no. Because it, it just sounds like you're full right. of yourself. You don't care about my opinion at all. So it's just like it has to do with how these and both societies are both like wanting to care about what people think, but the way it's interpreted is very differently. So in Japanese, you want to say no because you don't want them to think, oh, I think I'm better than everybody else. Because no, I'm the same as everybody. So you want to keep everybody equal. But it's different in English because we care more about the person complimenting you not being wrong. Right. So like there's lots of ways how you could think about it for interpreting mm. culture. It just nothing really like fully works. So all cultures have things you do. So like definitely I would say you don't want to stick out too much in America. Like there there's a definitely there's a certain amount of like keeping in with everybody because if you're too weird and you get like bullied and stuff, you know, as it just it's it's I... treated differently. So different things will trigger the so it's um, all... being outside type of thing. There's also a mode of, of collective um, conformity going on. Definitely. I... It's just in different Sorry, ways. I, I, brought it, <laughs> I brought it up because those two, those two verbs kind of just trigger a, like a serious <laughs> thought in my head because like, I, I sometime like at one time I wrote in Japanese using the the uh kaite kaite de version of things. 
Mm. And then I didn't quite know if it was the correct one or not. Because I meant to say well, like, oh, I would just, you know, I was actually, I was actually doing what I wishes to do. Oh yeah, you wouldn't use. I wasn't cut apologizing for it. Cutthene feels like you're. If you talk you about know? yourself, sounds like you're apologizing. Oh, I selfishly did this. Uh, I, or, <laughs> or yeah, like or it sound like I did something terrible or something. Yeah, that, that like, that's definitely what it would sound like if you use that talking about something you did. Sounds like you felt shame. Sounds like she. Oh. I um. That. Or you're insulting if you use it towards someone. But yeah, hi. Yeah. Um, hi. Uh, ito is a verb that means to balk, like to hesitate, to balk at doing. Someone says do it and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. Ah, that's ito. That's like that. You you like you wrinkle your nose. You don't want to do it. Um, it goes against your religion. <laughs> would make you balk at doing it. Ito. Hi. Um, can you, you read don't this? Don't want to do it. Hi. Hi. Ito is to like. No, I don't want. Okay. Um. Yochimbo to. He shita wa umiuji o korosu no ito. Um. Mi uchi is is a uh, relative. Right. So the, the bodyguard and the minion, they, they um, it's not discuss, is it? it or it's more like it's, it's uh, they... so it's the best way in English is to balk at doing it. It means like you kind of like you hesitate. You're horrified at the idea of doing this thing. But it doesn't mean you don't do it necessarily. It just means like you absolutely detest the idea of doing um the action. Um, I, I like that word. Detest. To loathe to do, to yeah. hold a grudge at if someone to do it. Hi, hi, to loathe, to loathe. That's a good word too. So we we loathe at at the act of killing relatives. Exactly. Yep. The bodyguard, at, the minion. At the thing of killing relatives. Hi, exactly. Perfect. Uh, this would insinuate their mm. relatives, Miyuchi, I would say, one's own relatives. Mm. So they, they both hesitate at relatives. killing their own relatives. Um, how do you put right. ito to bulk at, to loathe to do into negative form? Ito a nai. Ito wa nai. Hi, wa nai. Perfect. Ito wa nai. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Jibun no omoi dori ni nara nakereba u mi uchi o kuro kuro su no mo ito waranai. Okay, and we're talking about the higun and no kimi right here. So, nara and then nakereba. Higure no kimi. Higure no kimi. Higure no kimi is a word for that. Jibun no omoi dori ni nara nakereba. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> So we can... say that the subject here is the Lord of Twilight. So oh. if we don't, if the Lord of Twilight doesn't do as he wish, mm, it's if not the Lord really of Twilight negative doesn't here. Get his way, it's it's not it's not really negative here. Nara nakereba is like kind of just like if it was for kind of um you could kind of just say nada here, but nakereba makes it feel more hypothetical kind of it, it just it flows nice but grammatically you could say nada would be um fine uh nakara just kind of makes it longer wait a minute nakereba is right. that form where you 
is the hypothetical form of naru, right? Hi. Na. It's it's like I know, I'm must about this. the it's kind of like the must thingy, right? So. It's kind of like a must. So mm -hmm. if I must, no, 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 no. It's 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 not. It's like um, it's it it just it's, it's adding like stress to this. So like before, like Nada isn't very aggressive. Nada is very like just a weak if person specific. It the the kiriba is just adding like stress to this Nada. Okay, it's making it that um. Like one hundred percent of the time, if it's for omoi dorini, higure no kimi would ito wa nai to even mutual korosu. If it was nada, this sounds kind of emotionless, you just kind of. But this makes it very like aggressive, and feels very like a hundred percent, kind of. So if if um. If it was the Lord of Twilight. Right. If it was his Jibun no if, if it, Omotori. If it if it is in accordance with what right. he wants, um I would loathe uh, he he the act of he would loathe the would act he of loathe? killing a family. But why not? He would not loathe. Hi. Fratricide. So that's the right he word. Would not love. He would not even um, loathe killing his own family. He just would do it. He's like, ah, I wanted the wallets. I mean, they were in the way. What? Mm. <laughs> so he, he doesn't even hesitate. I see basically. here. So this this mole here is acting in in a sense like a mare. To go That's all the way, mode. all the way up to that condition. Hi. Yep. He would even, he wouldn't even balk at killing his own family if it was for the purpose of something he wanted to get done. Like it was, if it was what he want. Like if, if that, in a way, it's like this Jibu no Moi Tori is like, if there was something he wanted and the killing of his family would benefit that, he wouldn't even hesitate to just kill them off. As I was saying. So I guess in right. this way it's saying like if there existed something he wanted to do he wouldn't even balk at killing his family to get that done. Hi. Um, Hanji check. Do you remember what um political power was in Japanese? Um okay. Karyoku? Yep. Ken Kenryoku. Ken Perfect. How about factory? Um uh, ko, ko, ko jo, uh, Ay, shoujo. Jo. Mani, do you happen to know what that Ken Ken mean? Like it looked ken? like a tree character with something else. I think it's just like politics, Ken. Um Ken is just politics. So political power. Ken comes from Kendi, like right, privilege. Jin Ken is human rights. Oh, Ken. So it means like authority or the right, the right. of something. Ken. Right. Can you read this word for me? Sword. Sword. Hi. Um. No. So. Hi. Jo no kin. Hi. So kin is money. No, it's the word probably first time we've seen it. it means to offer, like to give something, and jo is above. So this means right. to give money to someone above you. So this can mean taxes theoretically, um, but this could also refer to like you know when the the yakuza come to your house and say, "Hey, you gotta pay your protection, uh, protection tax." And starts like beating in your windows. <laughs> that is also Joel no Keen. Because they are someone above you telling you to give them the money. Joel no Keen. Um, so. Joel no Keen is protection money. So, so. It's 
Probably. Buff money. It, it doesn't have to be protection money, but it, in this context, it is. What was uh, the... Can I ask, is, I... do you... Do you do you know if this is like a um is this like a legal thing or is it, or this word referring to something that is outside of the this could be legal the law, it, like... it it could be legal it just it's money paid to someone with power over you so that could be the government so it could just be taxes but it could also be as I said protection money from the yakuza telling you to pay them money it works for both. It's just any kind of money you're giving to someone above you. Um, I, so sorry, was Joel and then with Keen, what was the middle kanji? No. Hi, no. Oh, like the no. little ito and uchi. Or, um, so that is the same kanji in this word, which is osameru. So osameru is oh, to pay. As in to pay fees, taxes, anything like that. Osa medu. And this is a new verb. Osa osa medu. Medu. Um, osa medu. What was osa read when it was in kanji, when it's married? It's read um, no. I know. Perfect. Can you read this sentence for me? はい。I pay election money to the countess or the duchess. In this context, I would probably assume taxes in general, rather than protection money, as the Duchess probably gets taxes from her people. But if this said Higuni no Kimi, then suddenly it's probably protection money. It's just money that you pay someone above you. So taxes, protection money, duties, anything like that. Um, How do you think you read I... this word? Sha. Mm -hmm. So we got sha, which I believe is the same kanji from kariru. Kariru. Yes, kariru. You know what kariru meant? Borrow. So we got borrow, money, and take. And this is a job someone has. What kind of job do you think is a shakin tori by guessing from that um, kanji? He's a collector. He's a tax mm, collector. It is. A a he's debt someone who... He's so... It's actually a debt collector because you have to borrow the money first. So taxes oh, would be a different a debt, uh, collector. Part right here. It's a debt collector. He's, he takes money he's, after money is borrowed. He's, he's that gangster that knocks at oh, your so, door. Yeah, he's going to be doing some... Uh, no kin, isn't it? Um... So it ended I, with kintori. What did it start with? Cha. Cha. Um, ikagawashi is an e adjective that means suspicious, like ayashi. Can you read this sentence for me? Wait, it's um. Let's see. It's e ikagawashi. And we say it's an adjective meaning uh, um, steady. Steady. Shady. 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 Bad guy. So, uh, shakin tori ni suri wa shou no shou no kin o osame. So let's say that the pickpocket pays um, his fees is due to the shady 
collector. Perfect. A shady debt, debt collector. collector. Perfect. So this was to pay. Do you know what to pay was in Japanese for this word? To pay taxes and duties and things. Oso, osome, Osa. Osomeru. Osameru. Osameru. No, I'm suspicious. Osameru. Yeah. Osame. Osameru. Osameru. Hi. Um, let's go read the slide next. いかがはい。酒場。酒場。はい。酒場の I pay my fee to the Lord or the owner of the pub. Good guess. Look at the Shady particle, though. Pub. What? Um, the uh, owner of the shady pubs I... pays the uh collection fee the, um, also, the duty fee. the duty fees high which could just be generic taxes or might be production fee to the lord of twilight not mentioned in the sentence who is being paid and now we have our last sentence of the day The thief, the debt collector, and the pickpocket. Um, Uh, the shady owner, uh, the owner of the shady bar, of course, Mochirong, they uh, are in the Taso uh, Gare Ragai, in the Twilight District, Daremoga, anyone, uh, everyone, everyone, uh, Asame, Asame Teiru pays. Do duties to the Twilight Lord. Hi. So this is what's really confusing about wa as a um particle is that it's a topic particle. So he's basically saying these as examples, kind of like with yas in between here, for what he's talking about by daremo, kind of is what he's defining here. So so everyone pays a Lord of Twilight. The thieves, the debt collectors, the pickpockets, and even the suspicious bars innkeeper. All these people, of course, everyone that lives in Tasugaragai pays the guy. It pays uh, Higure no Kimi. So the wa here is kind Wait of a, a weird wa. It's just, just saying, as when we're it's... talking about thieves, pickpockets, and debt collectors and owners of shady bars, Everybody, of course, pays the Lord of Twilight. So that's the oh, as for way you could translate it as. I get it, but here, here we can clearly see that, uh, with respect to Tasogare Gai, this district of Twilight, there seems to be nothing but these professions that are just oh, so. <laughs> belonging to the underground. Absolutely. And therefore, of course, they would need protection money. So, 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 <laughs> <what's it on? laughs> because they're pickpocket debt collectors and bar owners and things. I, I, I get I, it now. Absolutely. So like inside of this narrow part of town, right? This narrow mm -hmm. part of the city. Yeah, this narrow this district, district is basically where all of the... Um, unsavory people congregate so, so, in so. one 